hello everyone so in this video we will show that how can we install dart in our linux system and we can also do the dart programming so for that first open up your terminal and from here just type sudo apt update so i type sudo apt update provide your super user password and hit enter so it will first fetch all the repositories for us okay now open your firefox browser and in the google search for dart download linux hit enter so in the first website you can get, see just uh, get the dot dart sdk so click on it and after that it will open up this uh, window now from here you can see there has a tab now select this linux and from here you just see there have lots of commands here right so you need to just copy this every command so first copy this third command sorry first copy this third oh god so i just select all this command click on right click and copy and in the terminal just paste this paste this on the keyboard hit enter so it will install all the necessary packages hit y to install so as you can see it just fetch all the things for us and it will install all the necessary packages and repositories everything for us right so it will totally depend upon your internet connection and all the uh, system configurations also if you have good processors and ram so it will install so very quickly okay now in the firefox uh, you can see there have uh, another command which is sudo apt update and sudo apt install dart so you need to copy this second command so copy this and in the terminal uh, click on y hit enter so as you can see it just setting all the things for us so wait for a few seconds to complete it do not be panic because all the files are getting downloaded from the google repositories right now type sudo apt update hit enter so as you can see it fetch all the repositories all the local repositories for us right so as you can see it just almost completed now paste the command which is sudo apt install dart hit y and as you can see it just download near about 126 mb of packages so i will pause the video until this process is complete okay so as you can see our dart all the sdk gets already downloaded now we will install the text editor for us so for that just open google and we will install visual studio code so in the google search for vs code and in the first link you, do, it, you will find which is code.visualstudio.com so click on this first link so it will open our visual studio code for us now little bit scroll down and you will find this dot dev installer file so just click on this dot dev file so it will install the debian installer for us right and wait for a few seconds to complete so i just i i have already downloaded this file so i just cancel this right now open your terminal and go to your download directory so i just type download and if i ls this file so as you can see i have this visual studio code installer file which is not executable permission by the user so for getting this user permission which is executable we need to type sudo chmod plus x and then the installer file name which is code dot something dot type right now type sudo dpkg hyphen i and then the installer file name hit enter so it will install the visual studio code 
in our Linux system. Now I am using Kali Linux, but if you using Ubuntu or any types of Linux distribution, there have not any such a problem, right? Our channel helps in every such way that as much as we can. Okay. Now, if I uh, clear this all the fancy stuff, and if I type Dart, so as you can see, uh, a prompt get appears that Dart is successfully installed in our environment variables, right? Now, we will write a simple program of Dart. So we just clear this terminal. And in the search icon, we will open VS code. So as you can see, Visual Studio code just open in our system. So we will just maximize this software. Now in the settings icon, you need to do some types of tweaks, which is necessity right in the auto save select after delay. So it will auto save all the files. Now it, uh, now in the extension tab you need to search for dart right if you search for dart so it will search for the dart extension so just install this dart extension so just click on this install button so it will install the dart and you need also need to install the run uh, extension which will run our file for us right so just type run and in the you need to just install this code runner so click on this install button and it will install the code runner extension for us right so as we can see two installer just started installing so it will finish within few seconds so until this process is complete what we will do we just create a folder uh, in the desktop we will create a folder called uh, dart files right and we will uh, do some code over this file so as you can see our almost the installer get completed so click on file and click on this open folder and from the desktop we will select our folder and click on this open button so it will open the folder into visual studio code right click on yes I trust all author now click on this plus icon on file and say I want to create a file called file one dot dot right and we will do some simple code and along with we will also zoom this editor so click type zoom and check this checkbox which will zoom this editor now we will write some code so we will write first void main and inside void main function what we will write we will write let's say var a equals to 90 var b uh, equals to let's say 30 and let's say var c equals to a plus b and print c okay so as you can see we will write the simple dart code and for run this code what we will do is just right click and click on this run code button so as you can see our code get run in our system but it's not totally recommend i will recommend you so go to settings and search for run in terminal right run in a terminal maybe and in the little bit scroll down you will find run in terminal as you can see run in terminal so check this box and what we will help if you just get the user input from here it will uh, help you in this way right so i will write a few code let's say so as you can see i have written uh, another code which is file2 dot dot and we will compile this file manually right so for compiling program i will say that we will store all the code in the dart files folder so just open it and from here you need to just open the terminal here right so as you can see terminal got open now for compiling this another file which is file 2 dot dart manually you just need to type dart and then uh, file 2 then dart hit enter so it just entering the names so if i enter my name 
right shimonto dash so person name is shimonto dash right if i cite my website domain which is microcodes dot in so as you can see microcodes dot in get printed so the, this is basically two way here you can compile this program by using this uh, fancy code editor which is visual studio code and if you want to uh, compile this program manually so this is the uh, this is the way to compile this program manually right and if you want to learn dart step by step so what you need to do just open your world famous firefox browser and first open up google from here right and you need to just type microcodes dot in and hit enter so just open this microcodes dot in website which is our website right and from here in the learn tab you need to go to this dart slash flutter right and here you, you will find the actual documentation of dart you will learn dart from basic each and every concept are covered from here right you can also understand the concept of basic programming just like control statements example loops switch if else etc right you can read what are the types are here what will be the syntax of this right and i have also mentioned some types of code here and along with the output but i still consider windows because windows is majorly used for programming purpose right but if you using linux or any kind of linux distribution which is based on debian so you can compile this program right I hope this video is helpful for you if you like this video so please thumbs up on the like button so thank you guys